are back. <laughs> Today I'm pretty excited because I've taken a trip out to the rather beautiful beach that is Gwivian in Cornwall. The tide's going out, the wind's coming up, so I've dug out my old land board and my old kite surfing kite. The board I'm using is the Scrub Scooter 39. It's got much of the same DNA as my regular skateboard setup. It's nine inches wide. It's a little bit longer at 39 inches. However, the rolling stock has been super sized. My regular trucks are 159 wide. The land boards trucks are 389. <laughs> my regular wheels are 58 mil. These wheels are 200 mil. The big difference is the inclusion of foot straps on the deck. These help anchor me on and resist the pull of the kite. Also helps me stay on when things get a little bit rough. I'm going to experiment with getting dragged around on this lovely beach. See if I can get a bit of kite landboarding in. I can't wait to scurry down the cliffs, get that kite pumped up. Wish me luck. not quite enough wind to fly the kite properly but hopefully when we dive it down it'll make its own wind and propel me along into the straps diver down woohoo we're away oh my goodness oh whoa a bit of softer sand there oh getting some speed now yeah tracking quite nicely oh Going quite fast, oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get a turn in. Whoa! Just need to keep my knees bent on that turn, I think. Right, should be able to get back up where we started, hopefully. Whoop! I feel like I might need slightly looser trucks just to get those turns a bit more acute. Also to help me start, I'm going to try just doing a little ollie jump and that will hopefully get rid of some of the initial traction problems with the soft sand. The lack of wind is making life a little bit trickier than it needs to be I think. Alright, try it one more time see. Cut across, get my feet in the straps, dive the kite, little ollie jump. Oh. Yeah, it seems to work. Back up. Here we go. Right, now we're on. Dive the kite down, get the power on. Ooh. So I'm just diving the kite to keep the apparent wind up and to keep the kite moving at the same speed as, as me. Oh. Hit a soft bit of sand and we stopped. But that works! Woohoo! a pretty fun and pretty mellow first session. Reflecting back I'd say the wind was possibly a touch too light. To counteract this I put up my biggest kite which is my 12 meter slingshot rally. Now this kite was designed more with kite surfing in mind. There are specific kites for doing traction kiting on land but I figured that my regular kite surfing kite would still work and it did. I look forward to doing my next session in more wind my experience of traction kiting is things get a lot easier once you've got full power in the kite. The kite doesn't want to continually fall out of the sky. And also, things get easier when you can put up a smaller kite. They move and turn a lot quicker and that allows you a bit more control and a bit more power to drag the board 
through that sand. In terms of the board, I think those trucks are worth servicing. They're a little bit rusty, probably put some new bushings in. I did feel that those trucks were a touch too tight. I think looser trucks would help me carve and manoeuvre and turn tighter. I'd also like to experiment with my tyre pressures, maybe put in a little bit less pressure in the tyres and that would give me more roll over that softer sand, stop me whoo, going out the front door. In terms of getting going, I started off with the regular kite surfing method of having me ass on the floor and then getting pulled up onto the board. That seemed to work quite nicely because my feet were ready in the straps, but after a bit of practice, I found I could just start standing up, get my foot in the straps, dive the kite. I also found doing a little hop of the board helped get the board moving forwards without those front wheels digging in the sand. And to start with, those front wheels digging in the sand was a bit of an issue. Going out the front was a little bit emotional. I stupidly thought, because I was riding on sand, that it would be soft, and it wasn't. It was pretty hard. I renewed my little bit of elbow grizzle coming off the front there. So I think a tweak for the next session, especially if I'm riding in a bit more wind with a bit more speed, would be at least to whack on a set of elbow pads. Bringing things to a stop was pretty fun. I did a bit of a power slide, same as skateboarding, just bend the knees down, that took a bit of pressure off of the wheels, and then I could just slide that back out and come to a stop, again landing on me ass. I adapted this power slide to bring the board up to a stop, and that allowed me to do a little turn, and again to come back the other way, I popped a little hop in just to get the pressure off the tyres. I think when it gets windier, I look forward to trying to get that as one fluid turn, so a power slide round to a 180 and then come back out and ride away, keeping the wind in the kite all the way through. My main goal for the next session is to see if I can ride with a bit more speed and also maybe try a few little cheeky airs. These again become a lot easier when there's full power in the kite as you can utilise that to hop the board in the air and try and land with some element of control. Well that's it for this video. If you fancy giving this a go and are new to traction kiting, I'd recommend getting a couple of lessons because things tend to go very wrong very quickly with a power kite if you're not sure what you're up to. If you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe. I make new videos every week. As ever, my name's been John Bishop and I'm a middle-aged guy learning how to skate.